Ey, 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 which is going to cost more. Um, so I, st I stood firm at $650. This is the Bolinia S. This is one that has the Miller Cycle engine. It's supercharged. So many of you did not know that this was a supercharged car. Only the ones that had the S at the end was supercharged. They're great cars. They're fun cars. They're known to be problematic cars. But they're a wow. To drive. It's low miles, 126,000 on the clock. It runs, it drives, it's a non interference timing belt motor. So if you pop a timing belt, no big deal. You just put another belt on it. This is a nice luxury car. Down the road you go. It's not super powerful, even though it's supercharged. It's not super powerful. But she fires up, man. Check engine light is on. Don't know why. You're not allowed to bring diagnostic equipment with you. And I'm not going to violate any rules, but, you know, I figure to me it's worth $650. If I can get it again this week at $650, we'll bring it home. Um, but they wanted $1,000 for it. They're and, bugging. And when you're talking $1,000, this is an old car. You're talking about $1,000 plus fees. You're probably looking at $1,400, $1,500 out the door. Tagging and title and excise tax. And they're like, at that time, that, by that point, you're pushing two grand. It's, it's too much. I can't take a risk like that. On, hey, on like this. look at these cool quirks and features. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Doug DeMero reference. Yeah. We've got little pockets over here, and yes, the important window works. Like I said, I'm not going to go into too much detail in this car because we already did it once. You can rev it up, and it's like. Ooh, it sounds good. You hear that supercharger? Mm -hmm. No, that's not a power steering one. Mm -mm. This one. That's a supercharger one. Yeah, I think this is a good car. Um, You'd have a blast with this, dude. My concern is transmission issues on these older Mazdas. Uh, and the check engine light's on. It could be for an oxygen sensor. It could be for a uh, shift solenoid. It could be for, you know, third gear slipping. I don't know. So I can't pay $2,000, you know, all in for something this old that just isn't... It's not going to get... The, it's gonna, not going to get enough video views to make it really worthwhile. It's an interesting car. Right. But not enough use, and it's not going to sell for enough once I get it down to the lot anyway. No. So, if we can get it cheap enough, we'll get it. And if not, then, you know, we won't. But moving on to the next one. Harley Davidson badge. What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to my Mazda Rebuilds. Okay, I didn't think they had the F-150 yet. I guess I'm wrong. And look, it's even got the XLT trim right there on the front grille, man. This is a beautiful truck. One of you guys sent it to me. I can't remember who it was. One of you sent it to me, so I want to say thank you to whoever that was. We'll see if we can get that bit of oh, Wow. Holds itself up. Yeah, look at that. It's, a, it's solid. They don't make them like they used to. Whew, but look at that motor, man. She's a... Uh, look at the caked on. She's a, little, she's a little dirty. There's It has, looks like gasoline or coolant or something spilled up top there. <laughs> <laughs> Is this a runner? I don't remember if this is a run and drive or it doesn't. I wouldn't think it's got coolant though. It's full of coolant. Does it show it in there? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it's yeah, green it's too. Green coolant. It's not water. Let's see what the water looks like. Yeah, it looks good. It's dirty. I mean, it's but dirty. It's full. It's got oil. The water pump is fairly new. It's barely got any surface rust on it. See the water pump down there is yeah. shinier than everything else. Everything else is rusted. <laughs> the rest of the truck, however, it's it's a little questionable. I haven't seen the interior yet. The tires are practically bold. The body work is yeah. pretty rough, man. I think this was spray painted. Yeah, you can see all the runs from somebody spray painted. This is why you don't give classic cars like this to your kids, man. Destroy they, they, them. Thing and destroy it, you know? Looks like somebody replaced the bed. Bed's actually used in the back bumper too. Yeah, like it's they they put really new new steel or something down. This is in real nice condition. <sighs> yeah, a good paint job. Oh, oh it says cool. Ranger XLT over here on the back. Yeah, yeah, same here. Huh? Here's your here's one of your gas caps. Maybe this has two tanks, or maybe this is the only one. Ugh. There she goes. You smell this? Here, smell this. 
I think the gas is okay though. Really? And that's a hard gas cap to get on and off there. Ugh. All right. It's time to see what the interior. Interior. You know, for a seventy. At first, I'm like, ooh. But for a seventy-five, it's really not that bad. It's even got a trailer brake, man. Uh, it might go. It might. It, it started. I didn't even pump the gas. Hold on. She's dead as a doornail. We got to get this one a boost, man. You got to hear this one run. Oh, man, this seat is wore out. Good God. Got springs in your ass? <laughs> See, you fall into it. All right, moment of truth. Woo! We did not start that without Jesus. And that was like right over. That thing fired that, right up. That is crazy. Like that, that, that. We didn't. I'm really. It I'm, sounds I'm really good. Surprised. I did not come in here, crank, 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 and, and then try to make it run. Like it fired up on its own, just like that. Oh! oh. <laughs> now she's not running. Well, it could. Well, they could have had someone could have retarded the timing. I doubt it, but. It's got a. It's definitely got a miss. And I'm looking. Look at the belt, jumping up there. Yeah. Yeah, she's running rough. Man couldn't need a distributor cap, spark plugs, plug wires. But the fact it fired right up, it, though. It's got good, uh, good throttle response. It really does. Look how all trucks shake when you do that, man. It's like. Yeah. It tells me it's got some power behind it. <laughs> Lights work. Uh, the brights are on, and for those of you who don't remember, your bright button is down on the floor. The old school floor high beam. Yep. Man, power steering is good. Window work. <laughs> yeah. Window works. This is nice, guys. Plug wires. It's got new spark plugs down there and over there, so it looks like somebody already attempted it. And maybe they just gave up on it. Yeah, we could have, I've seen these with uh, uh, broken, uh, broken lifters, collapsed lifters, bent or broken push rods. The carburetor could be out of tune. Yep. That's a big thing. You can have rotten gas. I mean, there's a million things that it could be. The lights are on. It can have a burnt valve. Oh, it's smoking. Oh, that's that Oh, that's that a lot of gas. That's gasoline. That's gas. Oh, it's got duels or no? Does it? Yeah, it's got, got duels. duels. Also. It's got one here and one over there. Oh, wow. Woo, that's a lot of gas. Oh, wow. my God. Man. Man, this makes the BMW smell like it's really cold. I know. <laughs> this is, uh, oh. I would say that the reason why it's acting like this is the carburetor. Yeah. It's just it's dumping fuel. Dumping fuel. Way too much fuel out of that air. Grab you a carburetor, have this one rebuilt. Probably be all right. Oh, we got one headlight out. You know that song? One headlight. <laughs> all right, guys. <laughs> Look at this one, guys. We got a Duramax with an Allison transmission with 66,000 miles. Now, spoiler, I'm literally looking up oh, airbags deployed over here. I'm literally looking. This is a Denali, too. I want to swap. A 6.6 diesel into the Tahoe and I would probably rip this dash and in interior too because I think it would all fit now I don't like the brown to be honest I'd, I'd have to redo it black but look it's got headrest monitors in the headrest yeah I could do this I'm looking I'm literally looking for a 6.6 Duramax and I think because I want, you know, people are going to say I'm stupid for doing that. But I think if I put the 6.6 Duramax in the Tahoe, I'll have the first Tahoe like that with a 6.6 Duramax and Allison swap. Um, and I know I'd have to do some modifications. It's probably fab work. And people will say, you're stupid. You're going to destroy your truck. No, I think it would be cool. And I could get all my money back on what I would pay for something like this or another truck by simply oh wow look at all the smoke over there from that f-150 i didn't think to try put it in gear 
Oh! I could get all my money back by just selling the motor and transmission out of the Tahoe for what I would pay for something like this. Oh, well, the F-150 does shift. So, this one has a lot of damage here to the side, and you can see the, the uh, running, running boards and stuff got pushed in, so the frame and stuff in this thing's probably all shot. I would literally be buying this for the interior and the powertrain, you know? And then I would just sell the other parts, sell the motor and trans out of the Tahoe, and I might even be able to cover the cost of the conversion. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. I'm literally thinking about doing that swap. So... Tell me what you guys think in the comments. Yeah. This is nice. Now this side is where just everything goes to hell in hand as it wants to get over here. Right here is, uh, it's... You think the frame shot got to be shot, right? Yeah. Well, I, got, I, I was thinking, like, this would be perfect to just rip the motor and trans out of. Tow company cut crash wrap and bent molding. Ooh. Ooh. Dang. I bet they didn't hold the tow company responsible either. Probably not. Bridgestone all-terrain tires. Man, it's a good-looking truck. Is it With the sides missing off of it like that. But, uh, let's see. Let's see if she'll start. Put a key in it and see what it does. And dead as a doornail. Dang. That sucks. That does suck. I really wanted to hear this one run. Yep. Oh well, moving on to the next one. Next is a 2006 Ford F 150. What's interesting about it is it's, uh, oh, no start because it has no battery. Huh. I still think it's start. This is the one everybody says stay away from, you know, because it's got that three valve Triton. And I'm kind of inclined to agree with you guys on that. I, uh, I'm leery of three valve myself. <laughs> Open country. Toyo all-terrain tires in like brand new condition. A little scraping here. Uh, this one I believe is a rollover or something. I mean, I don't know. Had to go under something yeah, probably. Yeah, either went under something or it's a rollover. No, look at the roof. Broke it. Yeah, the roof is crunched too. Like the roof is, I can't, I can't get up there too well. You guys can see that. The roof is in bad shape. Unfortunately for this truck, it's only the five and a half foot bed. This is the shorty bed. I prefer the six and a half. But somebody did put dual exhaust. And they put dual exhaust on it so you can't hear the cam phasers ticking and the tire chain. So that's a trick. That's a trick for those of you who want to sell three valves and you got that engine noise that these things use for. Just put some loud exhaust on it and, and that'll save you a lot of trouble. So I'll pop the hood real quick. Take a look at the interior. Oh, 222,000 miles. Whew! Man. Whew! The thing is though, is like this truck is still usable. It's not pretty. It's just a work truck. But you can get another windshield. Another windshield will go in here. You can definitely get another windshield for it. That's no big deal. You can put another hood on it. As for this, I mean, how many people are really going to be looking up here to see? You could probably reach in from up there and bang that out. Yeah. I would put a windshield in it, put a hood on it, and I'd call this one a day with 220, not 22,000 miles on the leg. That's a... These are nice looking rims too. I think it's a good looking truck. Where's the? Oh yeah, they put it right in the middle, and you got to watch out because there's this thing under the grill that oh, here slice it is. you. It's right here. Uh oh. Uh oh. You got it. Go ahead. There, there she goes. Oh. 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 That almost. Oh. Look at. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what is that? Man. I don't know. We should start it. We should start it up. Yeah. We should hear it run. Three it's valve Triton. It's got a K&N filter in yeah. it. That's worth $5,000 right there. Yeah. Oh, shit. Oof. Here, I'll hold it. I got it with my hand. <laughs> As I say, you're wild. You're over here trying to hold it with your head. It's like, don't do that. Man, I do this all the time. All right, there's only one thing left to do. See, See if it starts. I hear the pump up here sending fuel, but it ain't doing nothing. 
It might have that same sensor like the Explorer. You know, if yeah, it gets wrecked, it's, it's right on the passenger here. side. When it's in a collision. Yep. It's on the passenger side front. Panel yep. <laughs> well, not forgetting a whole handful of glass. Hell no. <clears throat> Still nothing. Don't you have to have it in the on position when you reset it? No, I felt the trip. Okay. You know what else? What? Oh, so it's something else. Maybe the starter shot. Ah. So that's why the the shift cable under the truck might be in something else. Okay. So when the e-brake is on, you take it off. The truck rolls. The shifter's got a lot of slop. It's not actually shifting. So what the, what the actual problem is is somewhere under here, we'd have to disconnect the uh, transmission linkage, put it into park, and then I, I guarantee you it's going to fire up. This thing would absolutely start with no trouble. The other issue is you have to get under there manually with someone watching the brake, put it in drive, climb out, and then you could drive it home. Someone would have to climb under, put it in park. It's, uh, ask me how I know. I've done this before. <laughs> I, I have done this before. This truck is listed as a non-runner, but I know exactly what's wrong with it. And, and exactly what's wrong with it. I don't know. I couldn't do it. <laughs> All right, next on the list is 2011 Mercedes CLS 550. Uh, first glance, it really doesn't look that bad, right? Well, <laughs> well, you get around to the other side here, and uh, suddenly you got some serious suspension damage. Something happened to the back end here. Clearly, where, where did it all go? Yeah, right? uh, it, <laughs> and you can see. Look at the swipes along here. Yeah. Yeah. Like the tire blew out and just just destroyed Weird, that I mean, thing. Yeah, the suspension. I, it, something's wrong here. Like, very wrong. Because this is more than just... I think it has an ABC system. I mean, that's insane. That's insane. If not, it's on airbags. We need that r not coilover conversion kit for this one. Uh-huh. It's 65,000 miles on the odometer. Look how high up the front end front end's got gas, you could, well, you could fist it. Look. Wow. She's even so much. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Well, some, you know, there's mud everywhere. So somebody went off-roading it. That's what happened. Mm. It's listed as a run and drive, though. Let's see. It's got that Carolina squat. Uh-oh. Nothing? Oh, now the key's stuck. Yep. <laughs> yeah, so the battery's dead. Oh, let me see if I can find the hood release buried up here somewhere. No? There it is. There it is. <laughs> oh. Yeah, this this one this one's a little rough. Is it under the star? That's right here. Whoo! <laughs> <laughs> this is the ones yep. where you're like, we know we shouldn't buy it, but I but I'm like, whoo, shiny. <laughs> so it's aromatic. Is that a nut it's... that's been chewed on? Oh man. Uh oh. So, squirrels have been in here. Well, squirrel got his nut. <laughs> every squirrel gets a nut every now and then. Whoo! <laughs> Yeah, so it's ABC system. Here's all your ABC hoses over here. Yeah. Don't you want to get under another Mercedes and do uh, another really? ABC system? Uh, uh, that, 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 was, that was enough for a lifetime for me, I think. I still love these cars, though. I really do. Like, I really love the shape, the design, the look, like, the technology. These things are amazing cars when they're running and driving. Look at the windows. Oh. The yeah, system that brings it down, dead. the battery's dead, so yeah, they... The battery's dead, so the windows are all... Bowed out. And I don't see a jump point under here. Like, I know the battery's in the trunk. It is. It usually sticks out. It's not here. It's not here. 
Maybe it's on this side. They will have one up here up front somewhere. I see people have already pulled. Yeah, people have already been in here. They've been looking for it. I don't see one though. Huh. Yeah. It's in the trunk. Maybe it's under here. Hold on. Hold on. Nope. Nope. That's an air box. I see well, a ground up there on the firewall, but I don't see a... Yeah, I don't see a positive. <coughs> and I'm not going to spend all day trying to... Digging around yeah, in the hatch and... The truth of the matter is this car is at 3950 Oof. I'm not trying to spend that kind of money on something like this. What year is it? This is an 11. Man. Yeah, it's an 11. Yeah, I'm not looking to get into something like this. Now, like, like you're talking about. So we're just going to move on to the next one. Next is a, it's another Wrangler. We had one in, in the video from the day before yesterday. This is a 2011 uh, Rubicon. Trail where you did it for us. I don't know why the bottle's sticking out on there. <laughs> it just trans it transformed <laughs> from a great truck into trash. <laughs> <laughs> it's got factory wheels, and they put an X on that one. So apparently that one is, is done. Rodian All-Terrain. Nexon. Yeah, okay. Food stamp tires. Said, yeah. <laughs> On a Jeep, like really, you can afford the Jeep, but you couldn't put some good tires on it. But the, hey, the spare is a 10 year old BF Goodrich. You know? <laughs> it's cracked. I mean, that tire, you're not going to get far on that. And look, they bought it from, from a Toyota dealership. From a where? From a Toyota dealership. Oh, no. Jim, Jim Norton. Norton. I've heard of him. Let's see. It's Ashley and Nick. And we've got Bigfoot. Oh, where's Rick Dyer? This, this, this is for him. <laughs> What's he call his channel now? It changes. It changes he weekly. To Auto King. <clears throat> now it's good guys. Auto Kings, Mister Good Guys. Yeah. Auto Sales, Mister Good Guy. Oh, he keeps changing the name there, and, and he doesn't understand why he doesn't have more like five thousand subscribers. Yeah. Where, where is he at? Because he's like the Bigfoot King. <laughs> That's what he's King. Bigfoot King. Mm -hmm. He he was world renowned. For his Bigfoot scam, I thought that was funny as hell. I'll be honest with you, I love, I love the scam. <laughs> he he was getting it in. <laughs> he made a ton of money fooling people into into that Bigfoot deal. I got a Bigfoot in the back of this van. He's lucky he didn't find himself in the middle of some charges. Mm -hmm. like that. If it had been me, I'd have gone to jail. Oh, this one's got power. Let's see if this one runs. There's a padlock sitting right up here on the windshield too. Huh. Oh, jeez. Well, you know what? That's a Jeep thing. That's actually, it's not a Jeep thing. It's a Chrysler. Yeah, that's the uh, <clears throat> shit Pentastar <laughs> Motors. Can yeah. I guarantee you it's that crap V6? This says uh, tire, door. Christmas tree on the dash? 9ASCAP. 9A scap, low. Gas cap? Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> gas cap, all right. You know, they're too cheap maybe to... maybe it's gas low. No gas cap, I guess. Yeah. I'd be like, ass cap? Uh, what? I don't know. Nine ass caps. Okay. <laughs> it's got the gas cap on, too. Yeah, and it's tight. Yeah. Oh, I don't yeah. know. I, I'm not interested in this one, but I do love Jeeps. So I figured I'd throw this one on the channel for all you Jeep lovers. I mean, it's not totally fucked, but... This has a shit motor. It's not even a four door. Yeah, it's like this yeah. is no man. There's this is the one that's eight hundred bucks. Manual LED tail lights. Yep. One hundred and eighty six. LED everything. So the Christmas tree. So the Christmas tree on the dash is going to be yeah. ridiculous. Man, it looks good on the interior though. That they cracked and destroyed. I believe that's an M style bumper. Yeah, it is. But it's, it's, it's complete it's, and it could be fixed. Like you could. You, you could, could probably could fiberglass it together. It, the paint is still under it. That's not fucked up paint. That okay. is somebody that did, plastic uh, dipped it. Plastic dipped it. Ugh. But you know what though? I mean, it's not. I mean, eight hundred bucks. Look at the paint though. There it is, right here. Look. It's yeah. Dark. Yeah. It's silver. You can see the paint right here. This is the original color. Wow! Look at that plastic dip. That's yeah, disgusting. Yeah, bad. Oh, it's blue. Yeah. It's like the other one. Yep. And it runs and everything. Oh, that's, yeah. that's right. I watched it on your video. Yeah, you got it running and driving. Damn. This is not bad, though. I couldn't get it in reverse last time. Oh, so reverse, you got to really here. It's not. 
<laughs> I kept trying, I couldn't get it. I was like, you know what? Maybe I don't want to fuck with this one. Yeah, it will, you got to really slant because it's sloppy. The, the, the gearbox in these are really sloppy. Uh oh. Nothing. Nothing. Did you have nothing before? There she is. Oh, fuck. Go away. All right, here we go. She runs. I got a coolant light. Yeah, there was no coolant in that I could see. She got uh, HIDs too. So you want to see if reverse works? <laughs> yeah. How much room do I got behind me? Not much? Yeah, you got, you got, you got a couple feet. All right. So you just slam it over. I'm in reverse. I'm going to keep the brake down. Is the brake on? Yep. But it's going in reverse. reverse. You just gotta really slam it over. And I put it in fifth gear too, and it's got fifth. Like fifth still pulls, so it doesn't have a bad clutch either. Let me try third. Yeah, it's there. Yeah, you just gotta because these gearboxes on these are so sloppy, you know they look like they're bad, but it's just the way that they did it, the way that they made it. Oh shit, the whole. <laughs> yeah, that happened to me on video. So, yeah, you just literally, anytime you get one of these in the future, just slam it all the way over like that and just push it up. Okay. Oh, but let me see if it, fires up, if it fires back up or if the battery's shot. Nope. Battery's gone. Yeah. Is there no battery up front? Uh, the battery's in the And then they walked away. Or something, and I'm, it ended up back here again. I mean, 800 bucks is not bad. Especially if it's already got the HIDs and they got the halos and yep, stuff on yep. it. Fiberglass LEDs this. In the corners, LEDs in the back. I mean, I wouldn't even worry about the paint. I'd probably re plastic dip it a different color, you know, like. I don't know. Uh oh. It's a police truck. I might have to. Oh. It's still got the radio in it. Or the PA system. Look at that. Front strobes. It still has the shit in here. That's crazy. It still has a cage. Look at this. Wow. Wow. I got to What, this one? Yeah. Don't, just, a, just the box. It has the... For a white beamer. A white beamer. Is it a 3 Series? There's one right behind you. That the guy's leaning on. Straight back. Uh, Damn, this one still has lights on it. 335. Yeah, it. that's it right there. Straight ahead. Moved it. It was supposed to be over here. Look at this. It's still got lights on it. Wow. Hey, it even has the nice seat in the back with the cage. <laughs> the nice seat, too. The nice seat. It's got the cushy seat. It's not the hard seat. I wonder what police department this was. Whatever it was, somebody hit a pole. <laughs> so it still has the box for the siren. It does, it's and still, it still has the lights on the mirrors and still everything. It has the box that controls the lights. Uh-huh. So all of that stuff is still here. That's crazy. Take this, put all the pieces on my cop car. Yeah. Just throw it, throw it all on the Vic. Well, what a shitty way of installing lights. Like, whoever did this install, I mean. It's crap. Yeah, it's crap. This has a V8. This has the Triton in it. What? This Explorer has a 5.3 V8. That's insane. Woo -hoo -hoo. That is no joke. This thing. Oh, yeah. Oh. BMW 335, I believe this is a 5i, not an yep. XI, 
136,000 miles on the odometer. This is clean. This is right. I like the rims. I like how they go way up into the fenders. Uh huh. This is really clean. Actually, you know what? It looks like the gap yeah, that just decided to put it off when it comes to the tires. This one looks like you can put your hands up in there. No, they're the same. It's just the, the band. Yeah. This is listed as a run and drive, I believe. Uh oh. Interior is clean. Is this the good iDrive system or no? Yes. Where you get the split screen with navigation. Yep, it's got a long screen too. Yep. What year is this? You said? Yep. This might be the year that. It, yeah, this is the good iDrive system. Uh, that is the door now. Yeah, this is even the same setup and stuff that came. Remember the five series you were yeah, looking at? Yeah, yeah. So this has that system in it. So it's got the good one. Well, not to say any iDrive is good, but. <laughs> It's a beast. This it thing, is. this thing, man, you'll feel it. You get on this, you'll feel it. Yeah, it's biting now for two grand. Right what? Drive. I don't know. I'm just making shit. Oh, I'm about to say, yo, I'm about to be, yo, we, we're buying, I'm buying this today. Like, can I write a check? Like, right now. Man, two grand. Yeah. Look like the bolsters and everything. The seats are in really good shape. See if it fires up. As soon as I hit the brakes. There it is. It's got the good eye drive. Oh, yes. And you can hear it. Hear it breathing? Yeah. yeah. Oh. And it does have a Christmas tree, but that's because the battery's dead. ABS, everything's going to be lit up because that battery shot. Oh, yep. <laughs> yep. But that's what Carly's for. You just reset everything, you're good. I got Carly. Yep. Got it. Oh, yeah. Sorry, I couldn't quite hear you. Could you please repeat what you said? <laughs> I didn't say anything. Wow. This thing is nice. The GoPro sitting there on the... Dashboard. Pick you for the car, right? They can't do that. It's random. This then they'll be saying, "Oh, you." For buy it now. Oh. It's in fourteen fifty. This thing, I mean, pe some people would walk away from it because of the leaves and shit, but you know what? It runs. I can hear it breathe. It's good. I would jump on this. I would jump all over this, man. So if she's running, get fired right up. You want to hear it breathe? Yeah, one time. <laughs> Here we go. Grab it up so you can hear it. You can hear it too. Yeah. It sounds good. And I'll tell you this, it's, it's one of the telltale signs of a car that's been sitting for a long time and you might want to stay away from the rotors. Yep. The rotors have got rust all over them. They don't. They're supposed to be shiny. It means the car hasn't been driving in a while. That's something you got to watch out for. On this car, the rotors are shiny. This looks like it was a recent trade-in. This car was driving like very recently. There's no rust on the shiny surfaces of the rotor at all. So this thing may have even been driven here to the lot. Hopefully you can see that. So that doesn't mean that everything's okay, but it's a good song. On the downside, uh, yeah, stability program, brake. 
service engine, tire pressure monitor. <laughs> now the brake, no, the e brake's not on, never mind. <laughs> I thought maybe the e brake was on, the e brake's not on. The brake's no. Okay. Put in reverse. Drive. Goes forward. Goes backward. Ah, the battery was totally shot. Sometimes you can reset some of these lights by turning the wheel a couple times, sometimes three times, all the way lock to lock. Doesn't look like we're going to do that on this one. Nope. You got your little paddle shifters right here? Yep. Yeah, I like this. This is literally the poor man's M3. You can hear it breathing, bro. What's it's interesting is when you hit the gas, the lights go out. Oh, you know what? It's happening up top, too. I watched the running lights on the side blink. Oh, yeah. You know what? It might have a bad alternator. Yeah, the halos are dimming, too, every time you do it. Could just be the battery. It's it shot. It could be, yeah, it could be the battery. See if it starts back up now that you're running enough. Let's check in the trunk. Yeah. Yeah, we're spending a few more minutes on this one because I really like it. Oh wow. It's got the BMW carpet Damn. protector in there too. The battery is under all of that. Over there? Yeah. You gotta take all of that out. Oh, it might come out easy. Oh, okay. A, that's a BMW battery. It's original, probably. That is a BMW battery. Wow. So either it's original or somebody has taken care it. of it. Yeah. <laughs> lots of leaves. Yeah, look at this shit in here. Yeah, lots of leaves. And so this stuff. this has been sitting. Yep. At some, or at least it was sitting, but it looks like it's been driven to wasp nest. Yep. You don't get this type of stuff from a car that's driven daily. Nope. Going out on it. Yep. You know, and charging pro charging issues will make these cars say everything's wrong. It could just need a battery. Yep. It could need a battery and an alternator, or there could be something a lot more serious wrong with it. I mean, just because everything is up and running yep. it doesn't mean the transmission shifts through all the gears. Mm -hmm. Not at all. <laughs> I'll tell you what, look under there, there's nests under here. Right there. Rodents had nests under here. Look at that. I don't know how well you can see that down there, but look there at that. Were. Yeah, look, hold on. You hold your phone. Look, look at his phone. You see the rodent's nest in there? Wow. So this, this something caused this car to sit for a while, so I don't, I don't know. Maybe somebody chewed on, uh, rats chewed on wires or something? Yeah, there could be chewed up wires causing the lights to flicker like that when you rub it up. I, I don't know. It, it could end up becoming an electrical nightmare. I'm just, I've been, hmm. I've been, I've been a little more cautious lately than I usually am. Just because I'm, I'm running low on money for the month. Yeah. <laughs> That's what it is. I'm running low it's, on it's money. It's like to... typical January YouTuber, <laughs> we're screwing everybody money time. Yeah. Yeah. YouTube payouts drop a little bit in January. They drop significantly yeah. in January. But, you know, so I got to be a little more careful about what we pick out. But uh, this is on the list at like 1450 right now. Let's see what happens. It's cold as shit. Nothing, right? Nothing. Which tells me the battery shot. Yeah. It's trying to run everything off the alternator. Can't do it. And yeah, it can't do it. It needs it. That's why the BMWs have those big giant batteries. It needs that battery. List a brand new ish 2019 Toyota. This is a Camry, right? Yeah. Okay. So the Corolla is a little smaller. Now. Corolla is a little smaller. Okay. I think the Camry looks more aggressive than the Corolla now. This is a. I'll be honest with you. This is. I didn't expect. A Camry look like this. And because if they have any kind of body damage, because they're, I think they're aluminum. Like when I bought that 2020 Corolla at Copart, I didn't pay much for that car. Yeah, I may. I'm thinking about replacing my Chevy Cruze. It's getting, it's almost to 200,000 miles. It just got back from California. It's got 175,000 miles on the odometer. And I figured, you know what? This one was sitting here. I, I You can't use a salvage car on Toro. I have a lot of you ask me, why don't I buy my Toro cars and start a fleet from, from salvage yards? You can't do yeah. that. They're very specific terms that you have to adhere to, or if your car gets damaged, they don't cover you, and they kick you from the platform. So, my cruise 
made me about seven thousand dollars in revenue last year the cruise is paid off i paid it off a year ago and it got me twenty five thousand dollars in tax deductions uh last year as well so tour is a great platform but that car i mean let's be real it's a chevy cruise it, it's got almost two hundred thousand miles on it it's oh. time to replace it with something else but again you can't use a salvage car so i'm just kind of here checking this out I don't think I'd go with a Camry. This looks like a pretty highly optioned Camry. Yeah. This thing looks sick. Another reason I wanted to show it to you guys, because I've never seen one before. Oof, everything is fine. I bet you why they totaled it is this right here. Yeah. No, I'll tell you why they totaled it. Somebody's paint job. Yeah, that's you. <laughs> oh, oh, wow. Are you kidding me? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's so... It, it, I told you they don't look like your grandfather's Camry anymore. No, I, they, did, I did not know that Toyota was doing this. Well, they, you know, they had to get their Lexus people what? to make them look nice. Yeah. Oh, man. Look. Oh, heated rear seats? Oh, this is insane. I got to know, like, what's, what's the MSRP? What's, what's retail market value in one of these? No, I think a used one. Toyota's run forever. I got to replace the Cruze at some point. And I think instead of going with GM... This time I'm gonna I'm gonna do the smart thing. I'm gonna move on with Toyota. Maybe a used low mileage. You taking Scotty Kilmer's advice? I, I, you know what? I think I will. <laughs> as much as I talk on Scotty Kilmer from time to time, I think I'm gonna listen to him. Go buy, go buy Toyota. Just fire this up, man. See what he does. It's a, it's a run, right? Yep. Yeah, let her rip. Don't what fire. Do I got it. All right. <sighs> oh, here. I, let me get that off the. All right, here we go. Oh, yeah. This thing looks nice, to be honest. Oh, wow, look how the dash. It's so, look at all that. that thing is, cr this is making me consider a damn Camry, bro. Are you going to trade in the Tahoe? No. Yeah, <laughs> 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 see, you trade in the Tahoe for the Camry. Or the Corolla, or, yeah, the Camry. Wow. Me, I'm not wow. Man. I'm really impressed. I need to see what these what these are going for because I really like this. What is that lane departure? Yeah, you know and, I mean? and it's got paddle shifters. Oh my goodness. I need to pop the hood. Let's see what we got going on in here. Watch it's gonna be like a 1.2 liter. <laughs> I know some of them have a six. It's a four. It's a four cylinder, it's a four huh? Four banger, and it looks naturally aspirated. It is. It's not even a turbo. turbo or anything. Wow. Boy, it runs a little. It's a little loud. It's got oh, they make noise. Injection. Mm -hmm. That GDI makes noise. What size motor is this? It is a uh, 2.5 liter. Huh. So it's actually bigger than it looks. Well, there you have it. I'm, I think I'm sold on Toyota. I'm going to look at something. Oh. Models, I like it. Get an idea what the price is. You know, it's something that still has a remaining manufacturer warranty. It's Maybe 20,000 or so miles on it. Or low miles or so that I'm not eating on that negative equity. And uh, swap over the, uh, the Chevy Corolla. I think I paid seven grand for that 2020 Corolla really? at uh, Copart. I think it's going to be seven. Right? I think I'm going to sell my cruise for right? some, some of my audience is going to be like, sell it to me, sell it to me. I think I'm going to put my cruise up for sale for three grand. I think it's a fair price. It still runs and drives and everything, and it's had a lot of service. We just put a new turbocharger on it about 15,000 miles ago. Tim and I did that in the front yard. So, uh, you know, it's a good car, but I think it's time to, to get something newer. That car has been rented out. It's been to New York. It's been to California. It literally just got back from California like two days ago. Wow. So, I mean, it'll make a road trip all day long. It's just the miles are getting up there for me to be letting people take it cross country all the time. Uh -huh. It's end up broke down somewhere, and I'm stuck trying to figure it and out. And you got to ship it back. This is nice, guys. This really has me considering uh, Toyota as the replacement for mm. the uh, 9,000 miles on it, I mean. Right, this is, that interior is just I mean, so... Yeah. God. Yeah, I, I the sports car, unless the, the affordable sports car, say the sports car that most people can afford, and let's discontinue it. And let's make the, everybody go to a German cars and then yeah, and, and wonder why they, our sales are down. Yeah, yeah. Once you go German, you never come back. You know that? <laughs> <laughs>
they kill the flagship. Well, I don't want to say for GM. They kill the Chevy mm -hmm. flagship when they kill the Impala. Man, well, you know when they kill the Impala, they kill whatever they build, whatever Buick car is built off of it. What is yeah. it, the Lucerne yeah. or whatever? Uh, yeah. It's a sad day. I, I couldn't believe when they told me that the, their biggest car now is the Chevy Malibu. Malibu. Crap. I was just like, this the the LTZ. LTZ Ooh. Oh, man. How much is this one going up for? Uh, probably going for nothing. I bet it's going for nothing. I don't even see airbags deployed. Nothing. I see some suspension shit up front, though. Yeah, suspension is easy. Like, this looks like control, lower control arm. Staff. Fender. Strut is bent. The fender apron, I'll bet, is straight. You'll yep. need the fender. You're probably going to need everything up here. Yeah. But the fender apron, which is what everything attaches to, look at that. Oh, it's all good. It's good. It's good. It's straight. So, you're going to need, most likely, a strut. You're going to need the suspension components down there, probably the knuckle and probably the hub and the caliper. Maybe the caliper and stuff, too, hoses. But hey, this is all the cheap. You can get this from a junkyard. The, all these parts for next to nothing. Injection, variable valve timing. What is this? So 3.6, right? 3.6 or 3.9? 3.6. Uh. Used to, the LTZs would get that 3.9 liter in it. Yeah. You got that higher torque. It's a lot more fun. Right. A lot more fun. But nothing wrong with this one at all. You got the beautiful alloy rims in here. You got a really interesting color in design. It's like a nice tubing white, and stuff. What is this, like turquoise right here? Yeah, it's like turquoise yeah, it's with like the a white tubing. Color. Someone left a lot of their stuff in the glove box here, so I'm gonna close that because I don't want to accidentally. Okay, I'm not gonna. I'm not closing it. Taking a look at the back seat here. See what it looks like. Got some air pressure. There's a little bit of stain on the floor. This thing is like this is in almost immaculate. It's higher than the shape. Oh, wow. Okay. So, we got bags of ice from 7-Eleven in here. Some Walmart bags. Just look at the car. Let's fire this bad boy up. What's the sound like? Fire right up. There we go. It's got Chevy MyLink. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, look at that. It looks like my Tahoe. What year is this? A 14. Damn. <clears throat> this is nice. It's let me know the trunk is open. Yep. Put it into gear. I don't expect this going to move. It's in gear, though. Yeah. It shifts. Okay. Yeah, I'm not going to try to Look move. at the speedometer moving. Oh. <laughs> so the axle's broken. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I could hear it, too. I heard it click. Yeah. All right. Yeah, I heard it click. I just, I didn't know the axle was actually broken. So I'm going to go ahead and shut this one off. Oh, look at that. Everything moves out of your way. It's got the Bose premium system. you got the big touch screen. This would not be bad if it went for the right price. Yeah, this one for the right price. This is an easy repair. It's only 86 grand, 86,000 on the uh, odometer. This makes me wonder, like, why? And, you know, when, a lot of times you get a collision over here, you end up with the fender knocking into the A-pillar and damaging it, and that's extra expense. But the door survived. There's no damage, no damage to, to the, the door. door. No damage to it's the A-pillar. literally just a fender. No the damage strut. to the hood. It's Man. just a fender in the suspension that rim is shot it's been chewed up so i bet you a, a tire go on it though yeah you could buff that you could sand that out high i speed. would replace it if you look down here look how bad this is it's like this is it's shaved mm. down okay. i would be worried that it's going to pop the, the pop off the pop bead out. yeah and this tire see you're going to need a tire going to need a rim you're going to need a bumper this headlight i just this buff that out survived. it just got a scuff yeah buff that, yeah, out. Buff that out fender man. bumper and a few suspension components down there. And the brakes felt good. Yeah. So it still has brake pressure, which means the caliper is good. Yep. But more than likely, it's probably you just fix a couple suspension. For probably like six, seven hundred bucks. Yep. And you can have this thing back. And if you're lucky, you go to carpart.com, which is who I use, you can find the same color. Yep. And you just go to a local junkyard that has it. They'll have it all ready for you. Pick it up, bring it home, put your car back together. I love the Impala, man. Comment below if you love the Impala too. All right, guys, this is going to do it for that Copart walk around. Again, a uh, major shout out to Randy uh, for taking me around. And, uh, you know, when I come to Oklahoma, showing me his uh, Copart and how things work. Uh, again, if you want to get in on the Copart Malibu giveaway, uh, it's real simple. Make sure you're subscribed here at TK's Garage as well as over at Auto Auction Rebuilds. 
And then you just have to comment on the giveaway video here and the giveaway video over on Randy's channel as well. It's that simple. It's a free car. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. And until next time, I'll catch you guys in the next video.